the ideology of the Black Panther Party, you know, is uh, pretty much the ideology of, of the masses of black people, you know. We only offer forth what black people want, you know, and what they've been crying for for a long time. And uh, that is to have complete freedom, you know. And that means in every facet of life we want freedom. And we all realize that right now we're living in a pseudo type of freedom. We haven't got the old slave shackles on us anymore, but we live in a society where our minds are shackled. And uh, I think as a teacher, and uh, you know, I'm a senior at Northeastern where I'm studying to be a teacher too, oh, yeah. see? Uh -huh. And uh, I realize the type of brainwashing techniques that, that uh, uh, I had to go through and that uh, since I've been involved in the Black Panther Party, you know, I have a different frame of reference now. And I realize a lot of things that all of the education that I've had, you know, hasn't been able to afford me, you see. Mm -hmm. And, uh... May I stop you for a minute? I, I noticed that you said, uh, party. Right. Now, I had always, in my mind, uh, the, the Panthers right. were the yeah. same, yes. We have an ideology that, uh, that is uh, directly taken from the people. We don't uh, recruit people through terrorism, you know. We only offer a program to people who, who feel that they want to get actively involved, you know, with what we're doing, you know. What is the program? We have a basic 10-point program that we tell everyone, and it's taken from the people. And, you know, it's like uh, the black organization I'm involved with at school. Uh, we started a black caucus. And by starting it, we got all the black people together, called the meeting, and started listening to their grievances. At first, they didn't even know they had any until we all got together and started talking. And then, bit by piece through conversation, we found out that everyone just about had a, a grievance that came out of certain inconsistencies within the institution. And the same way with black people. All you got to do is just start listening to them, listening to them talk about the injustices that they receive from police, you know, and uh, in the streets. and through institutions, you know, that are supposed to be to uh, serve and protect all the people, but who serve and protect only one uh, people, and that happens to be the white people. So uh, through this type of, of interaction, then you come up with a program, which means what do the people want? And you take that, if, you, if you're starting a mass movement, you take that and you write it up into some sort of program. And the Panthers have a 10-point program. Um, it, it says that we want freedom, uh, we want the power to determine the destinies of our own black communities. And it doesn't necessarily mean that we want to uh, take ourselves off to some piece of land and all of us conglomerate there and have a nation. No, but we're saying, well, not in the sense that uh, it, we will uh, get whatever, by ev whatever means necessary, you know. If it means becoming separatists in order to bring about what is uh, needed as far as black people's needs, then that's what we'll do. But I'm saying that at this point, we say that we are already occupying certain land, and we want to control what we have now, instead of talking about moving to, you know, South, you know, America or somewhere. Uh, you know. Setting up a, a separate state yeah, as yeah. Uh, I'm saying that our communities that we have now, that we want to control, period, mm -hmm. every facet of life in, within the black community. Can you tell me how you expect to control this, to control without money? Now, you see, we, what? as black people, you, at least I am, without high finances, I mean, I have no millions, I don't even have thousands, that I can throw into building businesses, and you really, uh, in order to do this, you have to, Negroes have to put Negroes to work uh, so that they can make an honest living. Now, we have a few people who are millionaires, but unfortunately, those people who are, or uh, anyhow, they don't put their money back into the society. They, you know, you understand what I mean? Yeah, but see, you run into a major contradiction. If you have capitalism, even if it happens to be black capitalism, you have to have a people to exploit. Now, we're about saying that the masses of black people should be in control of what is theirs which means that they cannot be exploited anymore. If they're not exploited anymore, then it means that capitalism cannot exist, which means that simply, by the needs of the people, we must destroy capitalism. Well, I only see now. That means you're going to have uh, community consumption, community ownership, 
Is that what you mean? I'm, I'm not trying to say what would be established, you know, but I say when black people get around the table and they make up something for themselves, it won't be anti-black. It'll be something for us, no matter what it is. I have my doubts. I understand you what understand you mean, what but I mean? as long as you work within a framework of what is existing now, I think you'll always run into a hang-up because, you see, the thing is we're about changing what exists now, you know, by whatever means necessary, including revolution, you know, to put that word into the conversation. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you talk about revolution, then you're talking about uh, throwing away what exists now. And not worried about what's going to come after. All we know is that this is bad and anything else ca it can't be much worse than what we have now. But you see, I'm of a firm belief that if you uh, are going to destroy something, that you ought to have something to put in its place. But I'm saying that if you're concerned about doing one thing, we have a job enough, you know, just worrying about getting rid of this, this, this cancerous system, you see. And, and I'm saying whoever wants to, uh, to uh, heal the wound and sew it up and build something better can be involved in that, you know. But I'm saying at this point, this is what we have to be involved in. You can't build a building until you get rid of the building that's there. I, I don't know if I'm getting I'm across to, to you. Say, uh, what I'm trying to say is, I, yes, uh, I believe in getting rid of the, the old that is of no functional use now. Mm -hmm. But at the same time you're planning to move out the old, have something to move in. Have something constructive to put in its place. Because if you tear down... Can I use an analogy of, of, of this country? When they had that revolution, uh, when they had that revolution, uh, do you, when did they meet the Continental Congress? You know, to draw up the laws and, and set up the structure of this country. Was it before the revolution or after it? Uh. Well, you're looking for a label. That's what you, you want a name of a, of a, a system that re, which will replace another system. Is that what you're well, have a system to replace yeah, another system. We don't have a name for it yet. It will be a system that has never been on, on the face of the earth before. That's why you can't put no name on it. See, we view the problem as, as, as not only capitalism, but racism also. See what I mean? And that's why there's no, you know, it's not, it's no name for it, you know, but you, you, you're a teacher and you know that, uh, uh, some of the problems that you have to go through and go, I mean, in school, you know, some of the problems. Right, right. See, so you will come to the conference table with your problem and say, you know, we have to erase this here from the society. And uh, uh, say, for instance, a uh, 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 milkman might come and say, we have to erase this from the society. And a lawyer comes and say, we have to erase, erase this from the society. And then after we get all these uh, correct, you know, the uh, all these problems solved, then we'll just come out and put a name on it. So, I mean, names really aren't that important right now, I think. You really are building, though. Yeah, I mean, we you have really to. really are building. We, yeah, we, because, not so much because we want to, I think that black people are pushing us. To the, yeah, to but the I mean, as you, uh, what you're just saying, it gives me clearer insight than I've had before, because you, you say now all these various people come to the conference table and they say, these are our problems and these are the things that in our society, in order to uh, live as other people, one, two, three, these things must be done away with. Right. In doing away with it, then you are building right. your new society. Right. 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 Call it what you want to, it doesn't make much difference, does it? No. Really?